Hello, I'm Natalie Paris and I'm the Undergraduate Advisor for the Department of Government. In this video, I'll tell you a little bit more about the sources of support at LSE. Across the school, teams specialise in all areas of student life. So if you're thinking about your future or your career, or you have a problem or concern, there will be someone who can support you. The contact details are all online and we'll make sure that you get them later as well. Within the department, your academic mentor and class teachers can support you with any area of academic development. Booking into their office hours using the Student Hub app will allow you to ask them questions about course content, the discipline more broadly, or the programme. They can also help you with assessment feedback that you've received. Carla and Claire, the programmes team, and myself will support you with administrative areas, and your academic mentor and myself will support you with any area of pastoral concern, including problems at home, worries about a friend, or your own mental health. Our student academic mentors can help you by sharing their experiences from a student point of view. We're all really friendly people, so please don't hesitate to contact us. Across the school, other key services include LSE Life, who are a team based in the library who can support you with areas of study. They run workshops and one-to-one -one sessions. LSE Careers can help you as you think about developing your career or applying for jobs and internships. The Student Services Centre can help with areas of administration, such as visa and immigration queries, accommodation concerns, or fees finance and graduation. The Disability and Wellbeing Service supports students with long-term health conditions, disabilities and conditions such as dyslexia. Going to see them to talk about support that they can offer, or an inclusion plan to help your teachers plan to support you better, can help us to help you during your time at LSE. LSE Counselling are a free service bespoke for our students and they provide up to six sessions where you can talk about any area of concern. You don't have to have a diagnosed condition and you don't have to be seriously unwell to see them. They keep everything confidential from the department, friends, family and employers. The Student Union Advice Centre can help you with areas of academic dispute and with private housing such as landlord disputes or tenancy questions. LSE doesn't have a doctor's surgery or general practitioner or GP, so you will need to register with a GP when you arrive in London. International students and home students should try to do this, and you should try to do this before you get sick, as there may be a way to see somebody. Your GP will be the first person that, for most health concerns, you can consult in the UK, from mental health to physical health or medication reviews. Your friends, family, student academic mentors, peer supporters, members of committees or societies that you're on are also great sources of support, and we hope that you'll feel free to reach out in the community if you have a concern. Of course, if at any time you're not sure or you've got a question, you can contact your academic mentor, Carla and Claire, or myself and we'll help you.